and welcome back to another episode of Psychic Evolution. I'm Jamie Clark. And I'm Maggie Clark, and this is the podcast where you discover the psychic potential within to empower yourself and manifest your psychic and mediumship gifts. Now, we do want to say thank Thank you for joining us again. We are opening up season 10. We had an impromptu break where we did not actually think we were taking a break and yet life happened and we flowed with it. There are times when we have to remember to be fluid, not so rigid in life, but we do want to say thank you so much for tuning in again. And today we're going to be talking about golden frequencies. And for myself, I've had quite a few connections to that golden light, the golden frequency. And it's been fascinating because, as you know, I question everything, but it's also tied in a few pieces of the puzzle that maybe I didn't know were going together. And I wanted to see if there was any kind of a tie-in to gold itself. And so I put the dynamic of research in, and I found some information that shares the fact that basically the average human of 150 pounds has 0.22 millimeters of gold within it, each one being the conduit of electrical impulses and energy. And it became a questioning for me to go, I wonder if that golden light has a tie into a variety of other aspects of life experience as well. Because for myself, all I can speak about is me. But in that, every time I connect with Jesus, JC as I call him, he has a golden light within him. My thing is, is what if he actually knew that humans had gold within them, that they were conduits of energy, electrical impulses, and that all JC had to do was acknowledge the fact of health or happiness or empowerment, and it would literally touch those golden vibes of energy and amplify it within the human body. Because it's also tying into that pineal gland of electrical impulses that can be activated for that. And my thing is, is what if the golden energy is always there, of course, but that step by step we're able to tune into those channels, those frequencies, and start to vibe more with Christ consciousness or angelic awareness or whatever the case is in a way that it's all within, literally. Now, in obviously in esoteric wisdom, we have golden energy representing the sun, the divine masculine. Silver energy is going to represent the feminine, and the divine feminine and the moon. But as we look into that energy of gold, it's an expansive energy. It expands. So we have the yin, the yang with the gold and the silver. Okay, but today we really do want to focus on golden frequencies because there is an energy of expansion. There's an energy a consciousness with that vibration of gold that both Jamie and I tune into. Whenever we connect with Jesus, whenever we connect with the angelic realm, there's a lot of gold. There's a lot of white energy also. And these are the two primary energies that we feel, that we see in our mind sight, that we connect and feel into. So we are connecting into this part of us that wants to radiate light. And so this golden energy is helping us to expand, to radiate, to shine, to be brilliant in this world. And part of golden frequencies is to radiate this beautiful source energy, right? Like just like you think of the sun as this big source of energy for our solar system, you know, we have a golden sun within us. We have a golden brilliance that allows us to tune in to the part of us that is connected to the radiant source energy, which we could call God or goddess or source or universes or whatever language we like. For sake of a better word, we're going to call it just the source energy for this podcast. But this golden frequency wants us to shine and radiate our essence, our true, pure essence essence and emit that energy into the world, live that energy through us, learn how to tune into those golden frequencies for more of an expansive type of energy. And what if being able to 
tap into those golden frequencies allows you to connect with the Christ consciousness, the angelic realm, many other realms and levels of consciousness. I'm finding a lot more about the human body and the spiritual essence of who we are as eternal beings and how at least in this physical body as a human has already the tools and abilities to connect us with many other dimensions. Even though we might think this is the only dimension, it's not. <laughs> there are many beyond that. Now, that also that kind of ball of light brings up a dynamic for me. I share the fact that there were many years ago, there was a dynamic where I just whoop, found myself in the abyss, which was complete blackness. There was no stars, no light, nothing. And I couldn't tell if something was right in front of me or a gazillion billion miles away. And I started getting a little uneasy because I, I, I couldn't see anything at all. It was pure blackness. And then off to my left-hand side, not my right, but for whatever reason, my left, opens this portal and there's three beings standing in it. It's a circular portal and out floods this golden light. And I thought to myself, that must be the tunnel of light that a lot of people see when they graduate life. What if those tunnels, what if those frequencies are giving people a chance to tune in, whether it's the golden frequency or many others. But today we want to kind of tap into that because for myself, that's all I can speak about, again, is a lot of times I am connecting with a golden light. Like I said, JC, for whatever reason, every time I connect with him, he has a golden light about him. In addition, a number of years ago, I was sitting there and all of a sudden I was connecting with scarabs. And these particular scarabs were six feet at least tall or in size, pure gold with very mechanical kind of energy, very, very intelligent technologically. So I, I still have no idea why I made that connection, but it was incredibly precise on the scarabs, the golden scarabs of the sixth dimension. And what's really curious about the scarabs is they were used in Egypt, and you'll see them everywhere in their hieroglyphics and on tombs and on really, really important like structures and, and paintings. And I mean, we see these golden scarabs, and actually, they weren't even gold in Egypt. A lot of times they were painted in black or blue, but the, the scarabs themselves were said to transport the sun across the sky. And then that connects again to the light of the sun, that golden energy that Jamie's connected with the scarabs. Scarabs are also used for manifestation. Sometimes they would carry these amulets and they would be for good luck, for protection. Many times when someone was being mummified or there was a tomb or something, those scarabs would appear to help guide them and bring light in that journey to the afterlife as well. So here we see the scarabs in Egypt, although they weren't referred to as golden scarabs, but holding and still connected to that golden energy of the sun. And being able to saunter through a lot of our past in the presentation of the golden energy and scarabs and how all these pieces of the puzzle are coming together allows us to become one a little bit more comfortable with some insight and awareness about what we're questioning. And if, like I say, we can question everything, always question be skeptical, just be open, then we get the practicality of spirituality. Because more and more I'm finding that that science and spirituality are one. It's now becoming spiritual physics, unification, not separation. And when we can be practical, when we can do some scientific methodology, systematized and categorized and repeated, you know, maybe there's something to it. That's the point. We're needing to have more of a, an understanding in a scientific methodology about the spiritual experiences and dynamics of the past, which are bringing it right into the present. Years ago, Jamie was uh, doing some training with me and he walked me through this golden elixir. And we were doing training in a spiritual room. And before I entered my spiritual room, he was guiding me kind of into it. He walked me through this beautiful energy of pouring this golden elixir down from the top of my head, cruising through my whole body. It was magnificent. And what it did for me with that brief like meditation was allow me to feel the energy of gold and how it 
felt in my system, how it felt when I was focused on it, when I received it, when I was integrating it in my being, what it did for me, how I could feel almost purified by that energy. And it was a very profound experience. So at the end of this episode, we'll guide you through a brief meditation so you can experience that golden elixir. And it was just this beautiful energy that just kind of washed over me. And it was the first time I think I had more appreciation for the energy of gold. Honestly, like, yes, I knew it was expansive. Yes, I knew it was connected to source and shining your light. I logically could feel these things, knew these things, yet to experience the energy of gold. And then when I connected it to the beings that I've worked with, we'll just use the angelic realm as an example. The angelic realm always comes with a frequency of a golden and white energy. And so as I tuned into more of that energy of the angels, it helped me realize that that golden energy is part of their gift that they have for us on this planet, that they are the example, so to speak, of having a almost that pure, radiant source energy. And it really helped me tune in to that energy within myself. You know, you're bringing up a a dynamic where, for me, in doing the research, that the gold is an amplifier for electrical impulses, in this case for the human body, and the pineal gland is stimulated by an electrical impulse. I share the fact that when I was younger, we were doing the old playfulness of... (sighs) And then you hold your breath and then you'd start to get a head rush kind of thing. And then back then it was part of the fun. Anyhow, we were, my friends and I, there was three of us that were sitting there and I had a TV that was plugged in, but it was on the ground because it was off the shelf. Well, I was in front of that and started doing that hyperventilating and then holding my, you know, energy and my breath. And then all of a sudden I started leaning back and... I got electrified from the the TV itself. It apparently had, I had leaned right up against it enough to where those electrical aspects kind of jumped into my human body. And in this, I share the fact that had I not been pulled off of that TV in a few more seconds, I would have probably have died. But now thinking back to go with the electrical impulses, I was freaking electrified, all right. And what if potentially that was more the activation of my pineal gland that I didn't even realize was happening, that I didn't have to have the knowledge of it, I just had the experience of it. And now all of these years later, when I can question things, which I've always done, but start to find some of the pieces that fit together to create the bigger picture of life experience and us as a soul print of consciousness. Now, would you say the pineal gland resonates with the energy of gold for you then? Or is it, does it feel like uh, something different? You know, I think the majority energy vibe is golden, but there seems to be frequencies of interaction from white to many other colors. And so I love when we can question these things, do some research. Like I say, you know, do it yourself so you realize we're not just putting it out there. It's like question everything and get some insight. Because when I've been able to look back in my younger years and seeing the little pieces of the puzzle that were always there that I didn't realize were coming together so much, I'm now getting the bigger picture of awareness to go, Oh, so all of these different aspects of my own spiritual experiences are tying into the essence of who I am as that eternal being. And what if the golden energy is just, in this case, for this human body to be amplified? There are many other dimensions. For me, we are eternal beings. This is not the only body that we've been in. So when we're able to make adjustments and tune in to right frequencies and channels and light and energy, because that's basically what they are, vibrations, light, energy, and frequencies, we start to emanate more of that golden light. What if we have the ability of our own individualized self as a vibrational light being, as I perceive us as humans, and that we can amplify on that golden frequency and it becomes more radiant within our energy field? What if that's a contributing factor of how Jesus, just for me, how Jesus comes to me and he always seems to have like a golden light from him? 
Well, and if we think about our relationship to the divine, our relationship to source, and even in the tarot, we have the card of the sun, number 19, which is the spiritual magician. It's really when you know how to craft through a very uh, magnified, magical energy of manifestation, really. So when we think about being your own source, being your own divine energy, because the sun is also the divine marriage. A lot of times on the sun cards, you will see the union of male and female sometimes. Sometimes you'll see a a little baby in there, which is the product of male and female energy coming together, being reborn almost. There is that energy that comes after the sun, which is judgment, which is resurrection and, and rebirth of some kind into a new energy. But through that spiritual magician type of energy, we learn that we are source. We are God. We are those things. This is part of what we are doing with humanity right now. And the evolution of consciousness is removing the illusion of, you know, we need something outside of ourselves to tell us or to to go to. We have this frequency of source within us. We just have to allow it. And I feel like these ascended masters that show up in gold, Jesus being one of them, the angels being one of them. I had a beautiful experience with Ishtar the other day where she was with just completely came into my my being. It was a channeling experience, but emitted this beautiful golden white rays of energy. And I was just, I was transfixed by this experience. And it was so palpable, so powerful. I was doing some intentional healing work at the time. And not not a hands-on healing, but a remote healing session. And it was just so intense. It was so purifying. It was so pure. And there was this energy that Jesus carries as well with the golden frequency, which got me thinking, what could we do to use this energy to help heal each other? Was this how Jesus could touch someone and they just were willing to accept that they too could be this magnificent, this radiant, this beautiful, they could too be source energy and heal all their problems in a miracle, right? What if this is the energy of the miracle that we find within who we are, the miracle that we can transmute, manifest, transform and radiate the source energy connected to who we are as an eternal soul print. Now, and when we can carry those vibrations within our field, within our bodies, not just our physical bodies, but our mental bodies, emotional bodies, all the, all the different areas that we like to play on this planet, right? What if we could bring more light into who we are? What if that's what it means? Bring in light, bring in awareness, bring in consciousness, consciousness and bringing the magnificence of the I am presence, because even the sun in the tarot goes back to the energy of one, one plus nine equals 10, one plus zero equals one, you're right back to the magician where you started, right? When you just landed from the fool, you're like, whoa, here I am. But by by the time you get to the sun, you figure out more of who you are as you're returning back to the source. You've never been separate from it. And what if that is the message of the gold right now, is that we are all here to be energies of source light. And this is part of how we're going to heal the planet, how we're going to heal ourselves, and how we can support the healing process of others as well. So this is something that I'm working with in my practice is how do I bring this magnificent light of source energy with me, with me through my day, with me through my life, with me with every interaction that I have with anybody so that it could be a healing energy, that it could help them tune into their own source. And I think this is really how some of the miracles happen. You know, what if there's a potential that that radiance, that energy sharing of electrical impulses in this case that each of us have and emanate, what if that's one of the contributing factors why music or paintings or whatever it might be, can sometimes instantly take us back to yesteryear. What if we're picking up on each creative person's energy field on that golden frequency, and it's able to connect with our frequency, our reality as we perceive it, and able to unify all of your life experiences, no longer separated, unified? 
And that's beautiful when we bring up art and the the creative expression, right? Like how do we creatively express energy? And I think when the, you get to the sun, it's effortless. You don't even have to think about it when you're there, right? When you're thinking about that golden energy, it just happens. Now getting to that place, you know, that's just a process of self-discovery in the end. So this golden frequencies... I guess we were uh, going back into Jamie's journal entries. You know, he he does a lot of voice memo recordings. And there's over 20 passages of experiences with golden frequencies. And this is only in the last couple of years, by the way. This isn't like his whole life. This is just like what he's recorded. And the amount of connections to the angelic realm to that sixth dimension where the golden scarabs were also connected to. Like it it was profound, like that energy keeps coming back, keep coming back. And I know we're working, a lot of people right now are working with fifth dimensional realities and moving into 5D and all of that. But this other energy of the sixth dimension is very much every time Jamie taps into the sixth dimension, that golden frequency is there. And it doesn't mean it's limited to that dimension or that uh, reality or whatever we want to call that. We're multidimensional beings. Remember, we can transverse and carry more than just one frequency at a time. So learning how that gold might unify, that gold might bring things to more of a clear and pure energy is what we feel when we tap into those golden frequencies. What if on a quantum level, that this particular reality dimension as we see it is actually interconnected with all dimensions. There is no separation. It is unification. And that each time we're able to tune in, what if we could start doing quantum blending of other us's because there are many other you's than just this one and in that what if we can empower what if we can add to that golden frequency by unifying with each and every one of our other alternate realities on a quantum level then it gives you the unification of christ consciousness the ability to shine that light as we perceive it let that light shine what if that is part of how radiant we are, the energy exchange and sharing with all humans and beyond that, but in a way that it allows us to find ourselves right where we are in life, right here, right now, and if we choose to expand and grow with that light of awareness. You know what's really beautiful? I've... I've just used this golden energy so often thinking it's the fabric of that matrix of the quantum field, right? Like what it, what intertwines things, what connects things? I mean, obviously love is the answer. Like love does that, right? What if that golden energy is part of how it gets like that electrical conduit, so to speak, the connective energy, the connective force. It's unseen, but we could call it God, right? Like, I mean, it's so beautiful when we think about that. We, If we just were to focus on golden energy, how could it transform our lives? What could we do with that? What could we do with ourselves and our own journeys if we were focused in on that channel more? And so this is a lot of what has motivated this podcast episode was to get focused on how we can bring more light into this world, more consciousness, more of a radiant field of beauty and and. I don't know, whatever else golden energy can do for you. And all we have to do is let it shine. And it's that effortless co-creation that you're not made to do anything. You're allowed to do it. What if potentially that combination of white and gold and a variety of others is white is the unification of all the colors of the spectrum? What if that one can be kind of connected to individualized golden or whatever the frequencies or channels are and what if we've been working with it our whole lives and didn't even realize it (laughs) so in other words you're probably working with golden and white energy and all the spectrum right like it's all within you the universe is within you you are the universe 
and the universe is you. Back to the ocean of consciousness. We are not separate from anybody or anything. We are all interconnected. We are all one. And I just feel like this can be very powerful. There's a couple of ways that I use golden energy regularly. And one of those is to activate every cell of my body with golden energy. So you can imagine just this golden light encompassing and radiating every cell of your body, just feeling yourself vibrate with that frequency of gold. Like it is so palpable. And then ask that golden energy to unify, right? And to bring, bring in the miracles, accept the miracles as they're already here as all time is happening now. There's so many different ways to work with this. But again, I also feel there is a radiant energy that gold brings. It shines, it's brilliant, it's expanding, right? So when you are ready to expand your energy outward, not when you're contracting your energy inward, but when you're ready to shine and be brilliant and be expansive in this world. What was that word? Shine? Again, just shine your light. And it will radiate to the entire world and beyond. Yes. The golden elixir, the essence of gold and our energy harmonizes. But in addition, as we're having this recording right now, we're doing the show, Chi, my master guide, drops into my mind's eye, my mind awareness, my psychic evolution awareness, is that there was a number of years ago I was doing a show, and we were interviewing a gentleman named Bill Holman, which is the Mitchell Hedges Crystal Skull Keeper. And when we were up in Sedona doing the interview, he allowed me to touch that crystal skull. It was freaking amazing, because as soon as I touched that skull, all of my chakras went white. And I'm like, what the flag nog? I've not seen that before. I was used to the red, orange, yellow, green, you know, all those kinds of colors. And in doing that, she let me know, what if that unification of the white light in every chakra is able to read all of those different channels of communication, the golden light, other lights, white light, many other ways to understand and kind of layer each frequency, each golden light in this case as its own channel. What if JC, Jesus, knew the fact that we're all interconnected? Because as I'm talking about this, what that brings up to me is an interesting aspect that I had recently, a number of months ago, where I was just sitting there and I still, it was that quick. I don't know how it's possible, but it happened. I'm sitting there. I wasn't meditating. I instantly became everybody that I ever interacted with. I felt every single energy exchange and came back to me with the words, How'd you treat yourself? I'm like, holy cow, that stuff is real. My thing is, is if we're all one, what if we're able to pull from that golden frequency of everyone else because it's all me? There is no separation. I am the universe. The universe is me. Takes it out of the ego of thinking, oh, we're better than, we're no better, we're no worse. Just do you. But what if that ability, the unification of, in this case, the golden frequency, Jesus was able to tune into, that was just part of who he is. And he knew that we are all truly one. What if there's a chance that that golden energy of our own essence is tying into the planetary gold and layers that through gold mines and many other aspects, what if those are pockets of amplification? And what if the more that you connect with Mother Earth, the more in tune you become with the frequencies, the emanation of light in so many different ways. So now we're going to take you through this beautiful golden elixir meditation. So sit back. If you're driving, keep your eyes open. Maybe wait on this till later if you want, if it's too relaxing, but please uh, enjoy. So take a moment just to kind of settle into where you are. We're going to do this golden elixir of life as a preparation before going into your own spiritual room. And if you've listened to this podcast, we do talk about creating your own spiritual room for a a place of meditation, self-discovery, healing, growth, whatever you want to work with your psychic abilities and your mediumship abilities, how you can expand and work with them in a very beautiful place within your own spiritual room. 
So if you've created your spiritual room, that's fantastic. If not, you can go back and listen to some previous podcast episodes we have around the spiritual room. But take a moment just to stand in front of the door of your spiritual room. And always we have a little treasure chest by that door where you're going to empty out your mind, (laughs) your worries, anything you wish to kind of let go of before going into your spiritual room. Just pour your day, pour your life, pour your worries, pour anything you want into this treasure chest. You're leaving it outside of your spiritual room. So just take a moment and do that. And when you feel ready, come back into this moment and you're standing in front of your spiritual room where this golden elixir of life is being poured over the top of your head and it comes as it meets your crown chakra. It comes down onto your head and slowly cascades down your face, your neck and shoulders and arms, down your chest and back and sides down your stomach, your hips, your legs, all the way to your feet. It's like melted gold that is fluid and light. There's no weight to it. It's just a beautiful elixir. It's an elixir of unification. And as it moves through and down your body, you feel it activating every cell of your being with this golden frequency. Allowing every part of who you are to vibrate with that golden light that shines and radiates. Just allowing this energy to relax. This golden elixir is very relaxing. Allowing it to integrate all the channels of information. Allowing this golden energy to soothe your soul, your mind, and your body. this effortless pouring of unlimited golden elixir down your body. You could watch it pool underneath your feet as you're standing in a pool of gold. The unification of who you are, the manifestation that it brings into your being, the energy of richness, of fullness, of a radiant light of gold. You may feel that you want to stand at this moment and outstretch your arms, feeling yourself radiating this golden light. Imagine these beams of light radiating like the sun from your being, shining the light on the spiritual door of your spiritual room. You may find yourself floating above the earth, radiating your light to everyone on this planet and to Mother Earth. What you do with your light is up to you. But it is here to radiate and shine and be brilliant in this world. And when you are ready, You may enter your spiritual room with this beautiful golden frequency, taking it with you. And as you get into your spiritual room, maybe you sit down at the seat of your soul and just feel how you want to shine in the world. Who are you as you are connected to God, to Source? Who are you as you are connected to the all that is? Allow yourself to feel your energy. 
allow the golden frequencies to radiate effortlessly within you, through you, with you, because it is you. Wow, that's powerful. I love that energy because for me, in hearing Mag's voice, very soothing, and in addition, I'm able to just allow effortlessly that golden light to pour through my entire beingness, relaxing, amplifying, and recharging the essence of who I am with each dynamic and being able to entrain how it feels right here, right now, and you can radiate and build upon that moment by moment, day by day, lifetime by lifetime. I think that the golden energy is also maybe just a contributing factor why a lot of us as humans tend to really appreciate gold and diamonds. It's a beautiful connection because diamonds are very excellent frequency modulator. It's a, basically a channel. And being able to tune into, in this case, the golden frequency that is able to facilitate, able to harmonize, able to integrate different dimensions, lights, frequencies, we can build upon our own essence, allowing as much or as little in life to attract within our beingness. So thank you for joining us today on our podcast, Psychic Evolution, and stay tuned. We're going to be releasing podcast episodes every Wednesday for season 10, and thank you for joining us. You can also join us on our Mystery School if you'd like more of our teachings. It is a, a platform where you can watch video classes and go back and study. We do have Q&As. We also have a Psychic Evolution training if you want to join us the second Monday of every month at 6 p.m. Arizona time. And all of that information is on our website at psychicevolution.net. You can check it all out and please have fun with your psychic evolution. We are meant to expand, to know who we are, to make those connections and see how these golden frequencies can help expand your psychic evolution. What dimensions do you tune into? What channels, what beings can you connect with? It is powerful and expect miracles, my friends. It will be beautiful. And let your light shine. Let's see what brings it to our awareness and what we can see, not only in others and in life, but within ourselves. 